Today, let's talk about e-ink or electronic ink. But before that, let's see the difference between paper and LCD display. Okay, there is nothing to compare, I know. Both are different and used for different purpose. But then let's compare specifically the reading experience on both. Let's say that you have to read a book. What will you prefer? Reading with an actual book or on a tablet or mobile phones? I'm sure most of you will prefer reading with actual book, of course. It's not very convenient to stare at the screen for reading three to four hours straight on your mobile phone. Sometimes it gives you eye strain. But on the other hand, reading on paper or book is quite easy and convenient. But what if you have to carry five to six such books every day with you to your work or to school? Then having them all on your phone or tablet is easy, right? What if I say there is something in between? Yes, I'm talking about e-ink. If you have any professional e-book reader, then it has the e-ink display. If you see this display in person, you will see how just it looks like a printed paper. And one more thing, now I can carry many books in this. Let's see how these displays are different than the LCD displays. It does not have any inbuilt light source. So if you see this display in dark, you will see nothing. It requires external light to work, just like a paper. Let's examine these displays under the microscope. In LCD, you can see the screen is made up of tiny pixels that glows. But in e-ink displays, there are no any pixels. Then what this display is made up of? This display is made up of tiny oil capsules that contain black and white pigments. More specifically, titanium dioxide pigments. Black pigments are negatively charged and white pigments have positive charge on them. And they are placed between the transparent electrodes. These electrodes are charged according to the image or text to be shown on the display and respective pigments are attracted towards the electrode and your image is displayed. It takes some time for the pigments to travel through the oil so that you can see the response of this screen is pretty slow. Playing videos on these screens is impossible right now. Maybe in future we will see these screens with quick responses and we will be able to watch videos on them. And of course, these displays are black and white because there are only black and white pigments. Then why even we use these displays in first place? We use these displays mainly for reading because it's just like a printed text on paper. Another thing about these displays is that it consumes power only when we change the page. Now it's showing a page on it, but it is not consuming any power. I can let this display on in this state for days and it won't consume any power. Only when I change the page, it has consumed a little power from its batteries. This is another advantage. Once charged, it can run for two, three weeks. You know the battery life of a mobile phone is measured in hours. But the battery life of these displays is measured in number of page turns. For example, once charged, this display or this device can run about five to six hundred page turns. And also the display does well even in bright light. If you are in bright light or in direct sun where you struggle to read on your mobile phone displays, but these e-ink displays show very bright and clear image. That's all about e-ink or electronic ink. Subscribe to the channel if you want to watch more interesting videos. See you in the next one.